हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू आर चैनल होम्योपैथी वर्ल्ड आई एम डॉक्टर समीना एंड इन टूडेज रीड अलॉन्ग सीरीज ऑफ एलेंस की नोट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एक्टिया रिसमोसा द रेमेडी एज यू ऑल नो वी आर डिस्कसिंग द रीड अलॉन्ग सीरीज ऑफ एलेंस की नोट इन विच वी प्रीवियसली डिस्कस एक्ोनाइन इफ यू हैव इन वॉच दैट वीडियो येट प्लीज डू वॉच इट नाउ टूडेज रेमेडी इज एक्टिया रेसमोसा एंड द कॉमन नेम ऑफ एक्टिया इज ब्लैक कोहॉश एंड द फैमिली इज रन क्यूलेसी The mental generals of Actia is puerperal mania. Thinks she is going crazy, just like Cephalinum, and tries to injure herself. That is self harm. Also, here in this remedy, puerperal mania is present. That is the period after childbirth. So immediately after childbirth. you will see that the mania sets in the patient thinks she is going crazy and she tries to injure herself mania following disappearance of neuralgia there is a sensation as if heavy black cloud has settled all over her and enveloped her head so that all the darkness and confusion is present so she thinks there is a heavy black cloud that is settled all over her and enveloped her head and that is why there is darkness and confusion there is an illusion of a mouse running under the chair the similar type of illusion is seen in lacaninum and ethusa ciliary neuralgia is present aching or sharp darting pain shooting pains in globes of the eyes extending to the temples vertex occiput orbit aggravated going upstairs emulated by lying down so the neuralgia that is the ciliary neuralgia is aggravated by going upstairs and emulated by lying down sorry for all the noise in my background because it's raining and i'm recording my video during the rains next is cardiovascular symptoms heart troubles from reflex symptoms of the uterus and ovaries heart action ceases suddenly impending suffocation palpitation from least motion now as we all know that palpitation from least motion is in digitalis also in female reproductive system we will see that menses are irregular and exhausting similar to alumina and cocculus delayed or suppressed menses especially by mental emotion from cold from fever from chorea from hysteria or mania okay and there is increase of mental symptoms during menses the patient has severe left sided infra mammary pains just like in istilago okay sharp lancinating electric like pain in various parts sympathetic with ovarian or uterine irritation in uterine region dart from side to side in pregnancy you will see there is nausea sleeplessness false labor like pain sharp pains across abdomen and abortion of third month which is similar to sabina during labor okay the this is the characteristic again during labor shivers in the first stage convulsions from nervous excitement rigid or pain severe spasmodic tedious and aggravated by least noise so the labor pain are aggravated by least noise and the patient shivers with pain after pains worst in groins so after labor the pains are worst in groins when given during the last month of pregnancy shortens the labor and if symptoms correspond should be given in the last month of pregnancy similar to colophyllum and pulsatilla there is rheumatic dysmenorrhea that is painful menses along with rheumatic pains now rheumatic pains in muscle of neck and back feel stiff lame contracted spine is sensitive from using arms in sewing typewriting playing piano which is similar to agaricus and ranunculus bulbosus rheumatism affecting the bellies of the muscle pains stitching and cramping type of pains extremities are sore extremely sore after dancing skating 
or other violent muscular exertion. So as you can see, it is also one of the best rheumatic remedies. Okay, Actia racemosa. So the nervous symptoms are spasm, hysterical or epileptic, reflex from uterine disease, worse during menses, chorea aggravated on left side. Modalities are aggravation during menses and the more profuse the flow, the greater the suffering. Okay. And relationship, the remedy, the entire remedy is similar to colophyllum and pulsatilla as they have similar type of complaints in uterine and rheumatic affections and also to agaricus, lilium tig and sepia. So that was all about Actia racemosa. If you have any doubts about this remedy, please mention in the comment section below so that I can explain the entire remedy to you once again. Thank you for watching this video.